Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today we are doing the anti-TBR tag. This trend of doing the anti-TBR has been going around for a couple of weeks at this point and there are a couple of different ways people are doing it, but Lily tagged me to do the tag that Nicole and her books came up with, so that's how I'm going to do it. Plus, having just a preformed set of questions is way easier for me. <laughs> like I said, this was originally created by Nicole from Nicole and her books, so I will leave her her channel and original tag video down below as well as Lily, Lily's channel and her video. Basically the whole anti-TBR thing is just talking about books that you don't want to buy or read or have really any interest in and it's I think kind of inspired by how the uh, beauty community will do anti hauls and talk about the like makeup and new stuff that's coming out that they don't want to purchase for whatever reason so that's kind of what the goal is here is replicating that mostly i'm going to talk about like popular things i'm not really going to talk too much about like more obscure titles or authors because it's i think more fun to talk about books that lots of people will know i don't know there are eight questions so we're just gonna dive in i am talking about a lot of popular books authors series etc so if i talk about your fave i'm sorry it's not personal these are just my thoughts not every book is for every reader yada yada disclaimers the first question is a popular book that everybody loves that you have no interest in reading and honestly that's like a lot of the questions so that pretty much applies to everything else i have to talk about moving forward but one that has been kind of floating around a lot more recently that i definitely don't have any interest in reading is dune by someone hebert i want to say yeah frank herbert this is a like 60s sci-fi novel that's being adapted to a movie i think it's actually not coming out till next year now and so because of that a lot of people were talking about doing read-alongs and obviously it's like a giant in this sff world so i think a lot of people are getting like more hyped about it because it's becoming a movie from my very basic understanding of the plot this has very little appeal to me and from some of my friends who have read it and have really similar tastes in sff books to me i just don't think i will like it i feel like there are so many better fantasy books to read classic or otherwise at this point i don't really have that much interest in reading classic fantasy by old white men so that's where we're at but again pretty much every question from here on out answers the first question as well so we'll we'll talk about uh other popular books for sure question number two is a classic book or author that you have no interest in reading i have kind of a funny thing to share relating to classics i um, back when i was getting back into reading probably like six years ago at this point where i found a list of books to read before you die i have them all written down and it's a lot of classics and just you know pretentious literature in my opinion but i yeah was kind of using this as a starting point in finding books to read as someone who had re read a lot previously and then i had kind of fallen out of it so i wanted a way to I don't know, encourage myself to read and I love lists. I love a TBR. If you've been around my channel, you know that. And this was like my first like reading challenge that I did. I, I haven't read all of them by like a lot. There are so many on here that I have not read. I went and found this for this question and wrote down a few books that are classics that I definitely don't wanna read but are on this list. Um, so the first is Moby Dick. It's huge. I have no interest in reading it. I don't think it sounds very interesting. I feel like it's probably too long. Same goes for The War of the Worlds. I've seen the movie and I absolutely hated it. I it, There's nothing more <laughs> terrifying to me than end of the world stories and aliens and this is both. So it's like truly my nightmare. Obviously there are a lot of books on here now that like I just don't think i want to read but those are ones that really stood out like i can't believe i even wrote them down as books to conceivably try to read at some point also i just am not a huge classics reader anyway i feel like they don't always 
work out for me. I think they need to be pretty, I don't know, specific for me to enjoy them. I try every year to encourage myself to read classics and it doesn't always work. And so I've just kind of stopped putting pressure on myself. There are some that I would like to get to someday, but also a lot that I just really don't care about. Question number three is an author whose books you have no interest in reading. And I think this is specifically authors that you haven't read yet. So I have two. Um, the first is Stephen King, and he has, if you are unaware, uh, written dozens, I think at this point, of horror, mystery, thriller novels. And I just, not really into horror in general. I've read a couple, but it's not something that I go out of my way to read or to put on TBRs or anything like that. So I don't really feel like I have that much interest. Additionally, he said some pretty questionable things. And the last thing to say about him is he is from Maine where I grew up and currently live. And a lot of his books are set in Maine as well. And honestly, that's really scary to me. I'm currently reading a horror book, a YA horror set in Maine, and it's just like, you know, it was a choice for me to pick that up. Um, it is just kind of creepy reading a, a book that's meant to scare you set in the place that you are. So yeah, don't really want to read him. And then the other author I have is Sarah J. Mass. She has written two primary series. I think she's written a couple of other things outside of them as well. Um, one of them being the Throne of Glass series and the other being Akatar or A Court of Thorns and Roses. And honestly, I just am not really interested in either. I'm more interested in Throne of Glass, although not enough to have picked it up in the few years that I have been in the online book community and i feel like if i haven't at this point if the hype hasn't gotten to me by now it probably never will a quarter of thorns and roses i have like less than no interest in i don't really like fey stories and from what i heard have heard this is just like smutty fey books and i just i like i prefer contemporary romance to fantasy romance personally, so it definitely doesn't really do anything for me. I don't really know what her newest book is. It's like called like Crescent City or something. Actually, I think the series is called Crescent City, but the book itself is called something else, even though the cover makes it look like it's called Crescent City. I don't know. It's very confusing. I don't really have any interest despite, yeah, all the hype around her books just doesn't seem like something that I'm going to enjoy. And then going off of that, an author that you have read a couple of books from and have decided that they just aren't for you. Again, another giant in the YA fantasy is Cassandra Clare. She has written the Shadowhunter series. It's at this point like 13, 14, 15 books. I don't know. I respect her for just sticking with it and like really going for it with this one singular series. I mean, I guess there are multiple series within it, but it's all the same world. But I read the first trilogy, City of Bones, Glass, and Ash, I think, are the three. And I just felt like they were not great. I didn't love them at all. And then I read the first of the Infernal Devices, which is the next series within the series. And it literally just felt like a carbon copy of City of Bones, but set in like Victorian London. And I was like, I already didn't really like it the first time around. I don't really want to read it now. I also hated Jace. He's like one of my least favorite characters. He just drives me up a wall. And also there's like the whole like incest but not incest but maybe incest plotline. No interest. I have heard the series gets better as it goes on but I just don't care enough to read that many books to get to whatever the like best in the series are. So I'm not going to continue. I yeah, I gave it I gave it a shot and it just it didn't do it for me. Sorry Another author that is pretty well known in the uh, yeah, like I guess Two different worlds because um, there's YA but also adult novels. But anyway, it's Rainbow Rowell um, I read Eleanor and Park Years and years ago definitely at a time where it wasn't like picking up on the racist undertones but looking back definitely see them now and Rainbow Rowell still has not owned up to anything um, within that whole issue and that's really concerning to me. I read 
Landline. I read it two years ago and I actually really loved it. It took me by surprise. I did not expect to like it as much as I did, but I gave it five stars. And then I read Carry On and it was fine. I just, at this point, don't really care enough to keep reading in her world, especially if she's not going to own up to the shitty things that she does um, or has included in past books. So yeah. Oh, I also read, what is it? Um, Attached, I think, is Rainbow Rowell. And it was just weird, creepy. I didn't really like it. So they've been very like, flip-flop for me I think like I said landline was great and I really enjoyed it but all the other things I've read pretty mediocre question number five is a genre you have no interest in or a genre you tried to get into and couldn't so generally speaking like I said I don't really like fae stories and fantasy set in fae worlds and involving fae characters for whatever reason they just don't quite do it for me I have tried a couple different fae stories and it's just not my thing. I think that kind of goes along with urban fantasy and paranormal books. I just don't really connect with those either for whatever reason. There have been a couple urban fantasy that I've liked um, here and there, but overall it's not something that I feel particularly drawn to. They're not often um, you know summaries that I see or hear that I feel really intrigued by also some of the like mashup genres like I mentioned like fantasy romance I uh, Don't love that as much. I would prefer just fantasy or romance rather than the combo. Yeah, I'm pretty open to reading a lot of genres I think it's just some of the more niche genres within um, Others that I don't like as much which I think is probably true of uh, for a lot of readers is even if you like the general the general genre overall there might be smaller subsets of that genre that aren't as intriguing which i think is fine question six is a book you bought but will probably never read and i am definitely guilty of this i do unhauls fairly regularly ish i mean when i move i guess but yeah i definitely have some books that i am getting rid of that i haven't read uh, but one that i'm not getting rid of but i don't think i'll ever <laughs> read is Twenty Thousand leagues under the sea by jules verne i bought this in paris when adam and i went to europe a couple of years ago um, on vacation uh, we went to shakespeare and company and i wanted to buy something and i really wanted it to be something that like reminded me of France. So <laughs> this is kind of a weird book to choose, but before going on this trip, so we were going to four different cities um, on this trip, Paris being one of them, Reykjavik, Amsterdam, and Bruges. And my goal before leaving was to read a book set in each of those cities. For the book set in Paris, I read all the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, and the character in that book is obsessed with 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. She is blind and she has a copy of the book in braille and so she reads it over and over again and so this like really reminded me of that book and subsequently the trip to Paris so I bought this because of that. Also I really like the cover. I think it's really pretty and I love the colors. I don't know. I just don't think I'm going to read it but I have it as, you know, the memes, whatever. I also definitely have some on my Kindle that I bought because they were cheap, but honestly don't know that I'm going to ever get to, or I've just decided that like maybe I won't want to read them. Um, so one that kind of off the top of my head comes up is uh, Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahirin. Mahirin? I don't know how to say her last name. But this, I don't know, just... I've heard so many mixed things about it and that's kind of why I bought it. And again, it was like a dollar at the time. So I wanted to read some of the really polarizing books from 2019, but just never got around to it. And at this point, like feels a little out of date, but I don't know, maybe I'll get to this at some point, but I kind of doubt it. I also bought The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic, which is I think also a pretty hyped book, but just the more I hear about it, the less I feel inclined to pick it up. I don't love books about sports always, and I think, I mean, this is about a made-up sport, and if I can barely, like, wrap my mind around books that are about real sports, I don't know this this will do it for me. Yeah, I feel like I have a lot of books on my Kindle that are, I don't know, kind of iffy. I bought them because they sounded maybe intriguing and were really cheap, but will I ever get to them? Feels 
questionable. Question number seven is a series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and have DNF'd. I already talked about a couple um, series that sort of fit into this. One that I definitely don't have any interest in is The Lord of the Rings. I just feel like the writing isn't gonna do it for me. And again, it's just like, there's so much other fantasy to read and I know it's like a foundational series within fantasy but I just I feel like I can understand fantasy well enough without reading it. I also didn't really enjoy the movies so I feel like if I don't like the movies I probably won't like the books but I don't know never say never but I just don't think that's gonna happen. I could totally have a change of heart at some point but just the way people describe the writing doesn't seem like it's gonna do it for me so feels unlikely. As far as books or series that I've started and DNF'd I don't think I'll be reading the rest of the Crazy Rich Asians series. I did not like the first book. It really to me just felt I don't know I just kind of hated that it was a just just constant description of all this overwhelming wealth and just excessive things and buying and I, uh, I don't know I didn't I didn't love it I didn't love the writing style but I loved the movie I thought the movie did what the book was trying to do so much better I felt like it was way more fun and just yeah it, I got way more out of it in movie format but I just don't think I'll read the rest of the series. I'll definitely watch the rest of the movies. If I don't, I haven't heard anything about the rest of the book uh, series becoming movies, but I would definitely watch them. I think this goes without saying, but I'm not going to continue with J.K. Rowling's mystery series, the Cormoran Strike series. I've mentioned this on my channel a couple of times, but I just have no interest in supporting J.K. Rowling anymore after all of her bullshit transphobic remarks that she's been pushing and just doubling tripling quadrupling down on it's really just disgusting and disappointing to me so i don't plan to ever purchase another jk rowling publication again so that uh definitely includes a mystery series in the past i've talked about really liking them there's definitely videos of me um talking about both harry potter and the cormoran strike series but just know uh in 2020 that was very different don't plan to read anymore despite loving both in the past i just don't i don't think i could read them without feeling really just gross and i don't yeah i don't want that for myself i don't want any of my money to go to her so definitely not and then the last series that i'm going to talk about is the bromance book club series i read the bromance book club the first book at the very beginning of this year, I believe, and I actually really liked it and thought it was super fun and was really excited to have a new romance series to dive into. But then I read the second book um, in August maybe, and if you've seen my wrap up where I talk about it, it was just not good. It was really victim blaming heavy. It just had a lot of really concerning rhetoric around um, sexual assault and uh, harassment in the workplace and how we think about survivors and how we approach them. I don't know. It was just gross. I didn't like it at all. I've talked about it already, but I don't think I plan to read any more in the series because I just feel gross about it. And then finally, the last question, question number eight, is a new release that you have no interest in reading. And I actually kind of struggled with this one because I couldn't think of many off the top of my head. Then I remembered that Midnight Sun came out not too long ago and I really don't plan on reading this. I read Twilight back in the day when I, I think I read it when I was in eighth grade. So at that point, at this point, it's like over 10 years ago that I read it. And while I liked it then, I definitely don't think I would like it today. I even by the time I tried to reread it as like a junior or senior in high school, I was like, yeah, no, not it not into it and also just like the idea of it like it's the exact same story just from Edward's perspective like I don't really care so I don't plan to read that I have like little to no interest in it I love hate watching the movies though so yeah I wouldn't be surprised if I do that again in the future but I don't ever plan to read any more Twilight content and then the other one that I don't really see myself reading I feel bad saying this because I've actually only seen like good reviews 
but I don't think it's gonna be the book for me and that is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I've talked about this vaguely or in a, a couple videos here and there in like wrap ups, but books with characters in their senior year of high school where the college application process and just like them thinking about college where that's a main part of the storyline, it often does not click with me. I spent several years working in college admission and access and books just often get a lot of it wrong. And while I understand that like the story is more than that, it would it just drives me a little bananas and I can't like I can't like not think about it, which is a me problem. And I know that you should see me in a crown is all about a student who is trying to get a scholarship specifically for the like prom queen at her school and that just is like a really weird thing to me and I think it has a lot to do with college thinking about college in the future I don't know if I'm completely wrong please let me know but I just I think this sounds great I love that there is a queer rep in it and that like I mean the cover is stunning and I love that it's uh like happy black girl on the cover like that's awesome but i just don't want to read it and be only focused on the like weird parts of the college uh, admission stuff i don't know i definitely want to read more by leah johnson I, whatever she publishes in the future i want to check out uh, i've heard her new book is going to be about like two girls who meet at a music festival or something which sounds really fun so i want to read more from her i just don't think this particular book is going to be right for me so i probably won't read it but again if i'm like totally wrong and there's not a lot of discussion of that in the book let me know because i will definitely consider reading it if I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, that is the tag. Those are all of the questions that Nicole came up with. Thank you again to Lily for tagging me. This is definitely a video I'm already nervous to post because like I know I talked about so many popular books, series, and authors, so please don't come for me. We all have our own opinions and preferences, so we're just, we all love books. It's great. You probably hate some of my favorite books too. Uh, whatever <laughs> anyway if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my next video but until then happy reading bye